नमस्ते गुरुकुलियंस डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स ऑफ ज्योग्राफी क्लास सिक्स मेजर लैंडफॉर्म्स ऑफ द अर्थ माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मेजर लैंडफॉर्म्स ऑफ द अर्थ broadly categorized the landforms of the earth are mountains plain plateaus dear students today we will discuss about the three types of mountain and the uses of mountains now let us have a discussion let us have a beginning of the these three features or three landforms of the earth let us come to know about these the first one is known as mountain second is plain and the third one is plateau dear students as i told you in the very first video that there are three types are there of the mountains what are these let us discuss once more fold mountain second is block mountain and the third one is known as volcanic mountain mountain may be arranged in a line it is known as range mountain range dear students in the world there are different types of mountain ranges are there now let us talk about them these are the himalayas the alps and the andes these respectively are located in the various parts of the country first one himalayas lies in asia continent second the alps lies in europe and the andes lies in south america my dear students let me tell you about the fold mountain let us have a beginning of the fold mountain dear students as i told you the himalayas mountain is the young fold mountain in the world it has different conical peaks and the loftiest mountains loftiest peaks in the world like mount everest the height of the mount everest is 8848 meter see dear students the the himalayan mountain the first one and the second is the andes or you can say the alps alps and the third one is known as the andes as i told you just now Himalayas lies in Asia, Alps lies in Europe, and the Andes lies in South America. My dear students, now you will come to know young fold and the old fold mountain. As I told you, Himalayas mountain and the Alps mountain are the young fold mountain, and two mountain ranges are there. the appalachian mountain the ural mountain and the aravalli range these are the examples of old fold mountains now let me write the example here here of the old fold mountain old fold mountain ranges are as i just told you the aravalli my dear students Aravalli range is one of the oldest old fold range 
in all over the world and the second is the ural and one more is there that is known as the appalachians the appalachians these are the examples of the old fold mountains and the himalayas and the alps are the examples of the young fold mountains as we were talking about the uh, young fold mountain how what is the structure of these mountains let's see here dear students suppose this is the structure of the mountain one after another one after another layer is formed of this mountain that is why this is known as fold mountain this is the example of the fold mountain this is known as the crust the crust layer so in this way it led to the formation of the old fold mountain now let us move to the second step second step or the second type of the mountain is the block mountains let us come to know about this block mountain first of all we will come to know the formation of block mountain then we will come to know the examples of the block mountain and thereafter we will have a discussion of the third type that is known as volcanic mountain so dear students block mountains are created block mountains are created when the large area large areas of the earth were broken and displaced or you can say placed vertically it led to the formation of the block mountains the uplifted blocks the uplifted blocks are termed as host and the lower one is known as gradient in this way it led to the formation of the block mountains as i discussed with you now block mountains are created when the large areas of the earth were broken and displaced vertically it led to the formation of block mountains the uplifted part termed as horse and the lower one is known as gradient now i will make a diagram with the help of this picture diagram you will understand in a better way let's see suppose this is the large area of the earth and this large area were displaced upper displacing as i told you the upper one the lifted one is termed as the host and the lower areas are known as graben so in this way it led to the formation of it led to the formation of such type of mountain which is known as the block mountain dear students i hope you have understood very well about the formation of the fold mountain and the block mountain this is the picture of block mountain
now let us discuss about the third type of the mountain and that is known as that is known as volcanic mountain the third type volcanic mountain now i will make you understand how volcanic mountain have been formed what are the examples of the volcanic mountain before we go to the volcanic mountain now let us take the examples of the block mountains what are the examples let us see here the rhine valley dear students the rhine valley first one and the second one is known as the vosges these are the examples of the block mountain now let us come to know about the third one volcanic mountains volcanic mountains were created or formed due to the volcanic activity volcanic mountain formed due to the volcanic activity the examples of volcanic mountains are the appalachian the uh, example of this volcanic mountains are the mount kilimanjaro and mount fujiyama are the examples of the volcanic mountain now i will i will make you understand with the help of the picture or the diagram let us see suppose this is mountain and under this mountain there is there is magma due to the heat due to the pressure this magma comes out on the surface of the earth it became solid and after solidification process it led to the formation of the volcanic mountain this is lava in this way in this way it led to the formation of the volcanic mountains now the examples of volcanic mountains are first one mount kilimanjaro and the second one is mount fujiyama these are the examples of volcanic mountains i hope you have understood about the three types of mountains these are the fold mountain the block mountain and the volcanic mountain now let us come to know the uses of mountains dear students mountains plays a very vital very significant role in our life now we will have few examples by understanding these examples we will come to know the importance of mountains so let us come to know one by one about them uses of mountains the first one mountains are known as storehouse of water dear students the first and the foremost thing about the mountains are these are known as the storehouse of water how it is known as storehouse of water you might have seen if you take an example of the himalayas mountain so himalayas mountain provide the source to the many indian rivers like the Gan ganga river the indus and the brahmaputra it means it provide source to 
many rivers like the ganga the indus and the brahmaputra mountains yeah, it provide base to the flora and fauna it is also the base for the flora and fauna means number of animals and as well as number of trees and plants and the next thing is about mountains it provide water for irrigation you might have seen himalayas mountains are very helpful for irrigation in india especially in haryana punjab western uttar pradesh bihar west bengal and as well as rajasthan next thing it is the attraction for tourist dear students mountains provide attraction to the number of tourist you might have seen some mountain areas some hill stations are very popular in india if you take an example of mansuri if you take an example of dal lake wuller lake and examples of nainital so different areas are there in india which are the attraction for number of tourists several tourists come to india to visit to see the beauty of these places and the last thing thing about the mountains it is useful for number of medicinal plants you might have seen number of medicinal plants are found in the himalayas mountains for example sarbganda tulsi jamun kashmir these are medicinal plants which are very helpful for us and the last and the foremost thing about the mountains is it is supporting areas it is also uh, providing recreational activities or you may say number of games number of sports like paragliding hang gliding and as well as skiing skating number of game and even river rafting river rafting you might have seen number of people or number of tourists go to siachen glacier gangotri glacier they enjoy river rafting in those areas so in this way mountains are very helpful for us i hope you have understood very well about types of mountain and the uses of mountains if you have any queries you may ask me with the help of the whatsapp group which has been created for you dear students rest of the things of this chapter we will discuss in the next video till then goodbye